You guys are just stopping me, particularly from going in and using it. Yeah. I'm you guys are denying service because of my assistive devices. That is correct. Part one of a multi-part series featuring Guilford County, North Carolina. We moved the family back to North Carolina at the end of 2019 to live near extended family. One family member informed us that the foreclosures lists are only kept in person at the county courthouses in the clerk's offices. We went house shopping, but we wanted to know about what services were available and how ADA accessible they were in the different counties under consideration. The first place Mike checked was the Guilford County Courthouse in High Point, North Carolina. Mike was trying to get access to the elusive foreclosure list. The security barred his entrance due to his use of assistive technology. Okay, uh, so I would feel, I be able to go in now and talk to them? Well, they can give a permit, but it's, it's used for evidence. Uh -huh. So what I would do is I would contact the, my, uh, the folks in Greensboro at the county attorney's office. Okay. And, or the court administrator, the uh, trial court administrator. All right, but I have to like jump through a bunch of hoops in order to no, go. No, it's not really, I wouldn't call it hoops. Can I go in now? Can I? No, because I can't, they can't, I can't clear you to bring that in. Okay. So, so you're upholding the, so I just, that's why I was talking to, to him that if he knew, I was going to ask you, like, mm -hmm. you guys are going to uphold the, the county judge's order over federal law, which is the Americans with Disabilities Act, stating that I can, that can use these under, under the ADA as effective communication devices. Okay, no, I'm not upholding one over the other. Uh huh. That's just, that's But you're just, not going to let me go in with them. So you would be upholding the, okay, the yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, if if that's what, if that's <laughs> the way you want to play it, yes. Well, I mean, I mean, if I wanted to go and get services and talk talk to the clerk and, and get some records or, or right. talk to somebody, you wouldn't let me in with my assistive devices right now. Right now. So I have but to jump through on. hoops. But hold on. Okay. I'm gonna work with you. Let's do it. Let's work okay. it out. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try and make a call so you don't have to go try and jump through a Great. bunch of hoops. Great. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, man. So just, just hold on. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys are telling me I can't use my. Devices, you know, it's like taking my cane away. <laughs> yeah. Well, some judge, some judge is telling me, and you're 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 following his order, like, so that's that's kind of okay. sketchy. So we have an order that the clerk of Superior Court would mm -hmm. have to sign off on in order for you to bring your your items into the courthouse. Wow. To conduct business. Okay. So I have to get special permission to have access to public offices that. Other members of the to public bring normally do. Equipment. No, it's just with the equipment. The equipment. That's all. Right. And it's, it is not because of. It's not because of an ADA thing. It's just because it's an electronic device. That that's that's all it is. And it has nothing to do with whoever has it. It's just. Well, I mean, this seems seems very discriminatory at this point. Does that make sense? From my perspective, you, well, yeah. can you see yeah, it from I that? See what you're all right, yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's, yeah. it seems like, really, on, um, ironically, in the courthouse, legal legal. <laughs> Legal uh, gray area here. That uh, if you guys are but that's what, that's preventing me access to public areas because I'm using devices that are that are covered under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Like, it, those devices that you're using yeah. for your 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 disability. Yeah. It just has to be the same thing that's not allowed in the courthouse, and right. it has nothing to do with keeping you particularly from doing. Uh -huh. It's just. The, the recording device. You just, you guys are just stopping me, particularly from going in and using it. For those particular, yes. I'm, I'm using yes. it on, you know, under what's protected under the ADA, uh, right? Yes, and I get what you're saying, yeah. and I'm not disputing. Okay, that. okay. But Mike uncovered ADA violations at the county courthouse in Greensboro. Okay, so um, this gentleman is requesting to use this uh, the cell phone in his left hand. Um, I'm assuming the the strap too there. On yeah, and I've got a audio recorder I use too. And That's fine. Yeah. So and what does the devices do? What they help. For? Well, the, the phone helps me navigate, uh, like my cane helps me navigate. You know, I'm trying to get a dog, trying to get a guide dog, but this is, these are all, actually these were issued by the prosthetics department at the VA. Okay. Um, so they're, they're intended to help people with low vision or no vision okay. navigate so what and communicate. So what do you need to the courthouse today? Uh, I, need, I need you guys, I need a copy of the judge's order that's saying I can't go in. Because in that order, if it's the same order which I got in High Point, there is a medical exemption. And these are medical devices that I use to effectively communicate under the Americans with Disabilities Act. I got okay. you. Quick question. So what is, what my question is, yeah. what is your business in the courthouse today? Trying to go into the clerk's office to do a records request. Okay. Well, what yeah. we can do, we can lock your electronics up, and we'll be glad to escort you down. That way you have no complications in that. Okay. Are you trained in guiding uh, blind people? <laughs> yes, sir, we are. 
You did, you are? Yes, sir. We were more than willing to walk you through security. Where did you receive training for, for guiding blind people? Here's where we're at, my friend. I appreciate your concerns. I appreciate what you're asking. Mm -hmm. But at this current time, electronic cell phone, any recording devices are not allowed in the court. Okay. If you need assistance into the building, we will assist you in any way we can, physically walk in front right. of you, uh -huh. help you navigate. What about you down to the okay. What about take any information? Yeah. That you need. What about note taking? Note taking. We'd be mm -hmm. glad to help you with that. Okay. I don't trust you to take notes for me. Right. Okay. Well. So that's why I have devices to take notes for me. That's not going to work today. Okay. Again, can I speak to the ADA coordinator? You can lock your electronic devices up, and you can go up to the judge. Yeah, have, have you tried to reach to the? Again? Have you tried to reach those two numbers I provided? Uh, not for, right now. Um, I was told by a supervisor that we aren't going to give them. So. Um, you're in a, you're in a bad spot, man. I know you don't want to do this. It's not. I can hear it in your voice. I know you aren't. You're trying to help. And, well, I. And, you know, I'm. I. I can understand. Uh, on some right here. Okay, so you should be able to find. There's a medical exemption listed there. Lindsay R. Davis is the judge okay. that wrote that out. Uh huh. All I'm asking is that you guys honor this order. If that's what you guys are saying is the ultimate law of the land in here, honor this order because there is a medical exemption listed. So now help me. Yeah. Uh, help me with this. Does your is your chest rig considered something medical? Uh, I use it because it's a backup camera. Like, like for instance, when you asked for the numbers for the 88th, right. I turned off my camera function on my phone, but this was still recording, right? So if, if something happened during that time I was trying to find her name and number, like if for some reason you wanted to smack me, <laughs> you know, and hopefully not, but, but crazy stuff happens, you know? <laughs> this, would, this would cover that. This would cover my, my behavior and your behavior, right? Because it's audio and video. Uh, yeah, so it's just a backup in case one of them, I need to use this for, for another thing. Where'd your friend go? He, uh, I think he went to go get a smoke. Oh, yeah. But he's got a nicotine addiction. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Do you see in there? I don't see anything where it says. If it's, yeah, if it's the same order as the one that they had in High Point, it's listed under uh, medical... But again, you have an ADA coordinator. You actually have two. You have a primary and a backup. And they are the people that, that you need to refer this to and have them come talk to me if, or talk to you or both of us so that we get this cleared up. Because this, this is a serious issue. This is a federal level stuff. This is federal so law. Help, so yeah. you get me, you get, I'm just going to call you Jim because I can't get your last name. Sure. Um, so, um, and I'm sure I can look at one day too. But, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you gave me those those telephone numbers. Have you tried to call them directly? No, I was going to try to do it in purpose person here. Uh, yeah. So so today's video is actually also a follow up from High Point's denial, right? Yeah. So we've we already filed a, an ADA claim at the federal level uh -huh. um, for for the refusal of service. Okay. And but we're also trying to handle it at the lowest level. You know, I try to talk with the guys that are that are preventing access and get them to see reason and get them to even look up law in the U.S. Constitution, and it doesn't. Visually impaired individuals ever came in here. Uh -huh. Not the first one that's ever needed to conduct business. Yeah. And thousands before you have been able to conduct business. Okay. These gentlemen right here are going to ask you to leave. If you refuse to leave, you can be charged with second degree trespass. Okay. So you have an option. So are you to threatening come violence come upon me? You Is that what you're doing? The law. No. That's what I'm telling you. That's not the law because I'm not doing anything criminal. Gentlemen, so are you threatening violence upon me? Is that what's going on? Because I want clarification. Mm -hmm. so, I understand you're visually impaired. Yeah. Okay. What he's going to do right now is we're going to place your hands behind your back and put you in some handcuffs. Okay. Why? So if you're threatening violence, I'll leave. You know, if, I just want to be clear. Well, right now, Under threat of violence, I will leave. Okay. Well, we're, right. The, I, didn't, I didn't think you were getting to the point of using violence on me, but if you're going to use violence, then I'll leave. Okay. 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 So. This hey. is my boss. Okay, hi. Can you see me? Oh, no. Where we're at. <laughs> well, he can't see you, so he can't, if you put your hand on I was asking him to call the two names that he's 
repeatedly gave to us and have them fax that information over to the courthouse here so we could be aware of what he's trying to tell us. Yeah. From well, the American Disability Association. Right. So no, no. You, so you have two people on staff at the county courthouse. Uh, one's Miss Dixon and one is Tiffany. Uh, I gave him to Geldner. He's got the names. Or Stephanie. Thank you. Stephanie. Yeah. Uh, that they, they are the Americans with Disabilities Act coordinator for the courthouse. So if there's a discrepancy at security, that's why I asked for the ADA coordinator and nobody knew what I was talking about. So then I found on my phone, I had to dig it up and provide those names mm -hmm. so that they would try to get a hold of them and help clarify what's going on. I'm trying to get into the clerk's office to do records requests. I use recording devices for note taking. I have bad memory. I can't see to take physical notes. Right. Uh, and I use my phone for navigation. Okay. So, so here's where we're at. Yeah. Uh, and I've, uh, you're, you're recording now, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> I can't see to tell if I am. I hope I am. Okay. Yeah, right, well, this one this one might be live to the internet. I hope. All right. Uh, so you won't be uh, permitted to bring your equipment into the building as a reasonable accommodation for you. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. As a reasonable accommodation for you, uh, if you want to have, you can secure your uh, equipment, mm -hmm. and we can have someone guide you to where you ha want to go. Okay. What about taking notes? You you can write handwritten notes if you want. That's not no, a problem. No, I, I don't have a way of. Bring the equipment I don't have a way of well, that, taking handwritten notes and even reading my own handwritten cool. notes. Then so that can, doesn't help me. You can have somebody to do that if right. you want. Okay. The so eighty. We, we'll so we'll guide you down. What, what I'm yeah. saying, sir. I, I think I'm pretty much done. But what I'm saying is, you will not be allowed to bring your equipment in. Okay. Into the courthouse. All right. As a reasonable accommodation, we can uh, ha uh, after you secure your devices. Yeah that are not allowed in the courthouse, okay. you can go ahead downstairs uh, right. and we call a company you down there. That's, uh, okay, what's your name, sir? Jeff Fowler. Jeff Fowler, all right, and you're with, with who? I'm the director of security for the county. Director of security, okay. Right. So what I told, I think it was this gentleman on my left, what I told him, because he said the same thing, is that, that one, that's not a reasonable accommodation because I can't access that those notes. Okay, but I and, won't go and into two, that it's, with you, okay? But it, it's I'm, the only... I'm, I'm not an attorney. Right, I've been that's advised. why you have a coordinator. I, so they, they can help help this you guys don't get to set the precedent for what is a reasonable accommodation mm -hmm. you understand that that's how the law would work so you guys don't get to set that you can offer something and, and we can communicate and I say well that actually doesn't work for me that isn't reasonable and it doesn't accommodate me right okay. and I've communicated well, that so you're failing to actually provide me with a reasonable accommodation I have my own reasonable accommodation here okay. right I can take notes with what I have here, okay. right? And you guys are denying service because of my assistive devices. That is correct. And okay. To, to reiterate, you're not, you cannot bring the uh, equipment into the building. Okay. Thank you. All right. There were ADA violations at the county DSS office. They set the rules here and they can do that. So you don't if they, okay, I hear you. If, if they posted a sign that said no black people, would that be enforceable? Uh, no. Okay, so, so for them to say you can't, you don't have the First Amendment right of freedom of the press and the ADA doesn't apply, that's they, they equally not enforceable, right? Yeah, I no, that's enforceable because that's the best they're willing. They, they're charged with poverty. Yeah. If they don't have a conversation, they have to leave. They're trying to tell me to leave because of, the, because of the recording device. And that's, that's not a reason for trespass, so they, you know? So they said that also that if you, if you, wanted, you wanted to talk to the VA, yeah. if you're using it for a disability purpose, yeah. okay, then... I'm going to the lobby or whatever, wherever the VA office is. Once you get to that location, then using the equipment to assist your disability, mm -hmm. that's fine. That's that. They don't have no problem with that. Okay. You understand that part? But I get that. But what I'm telling you is that according to the Americans with Disabilities Act, the federal law on this, the security guards don't get to dictate that. They don't get to determine what is reasonable and what's not reasonable Where accommodation. Where do you have it written down? If you can pick it up, no, I don't have it on paper because oh, I don't. I don't use it. Yeah, I can get it digitally to you. But it's the Americans with Disabilities Act. They have to be a department head or an ADA coordinator, which I've been asking to talk to, and they were refusing to do that. Well, they're given their jobs. Sure, they, they, but they're they're told by people that first you said right, and and first you said they didn't have an ADA coordinator here, and then I don't know, twenty thirty minutes later they they did. I try to handle the lowest level. I try to try to make this this uh, you know. Intelligible. I try to communicate. Hey, for effective communication, it's the ADA. I try to provide the law. I try to tell them that you know qualified immunity is out the window when it comes to ADA. So if you guys decide to enforce this, like you, you're, you're liable to a lawsuit yourselves and even criminally liable, right? So that's 18 USC, uh, sorry, 42 USC 1983. There's, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm trying. I don't want to do that. I want to go in, get the information I came here for, it, and then leave, and do it with my assistive devices. And the people no, that are preventing me that. are violating. Federal law, they're violating state law because if I want any records request, they're not going to let me record that. Like, they're, they're, who are you here specifically to see? Disability coordinator? Whoever is in, yeah, I don't know who the name is. So okay. It's the VA, uh, VA person. 
Okay. Okay. All right. The lady's here, the VA office is here to escort you in. She's going to ask you in the building, and she's right in here in the door for you. Anything else from us? I don't need you guys. Do you need anything else for while we're here? No. I mean, I mean, if you guys want to research the ADA and... and well, I'm familiar with it. I have two prosthetic legs. I know okay. All right. Yeah. Well, they're, they don't, they're not the determiners. But it has to be a, a department head or a coordinator. And so that's why I like... Well, I haven't talked to that, yeah. you know? I know what you're talking about. So they're, they're trying to enforce stuff on their own. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Mike discovered more ADA violations at the county school board facility. Checking on ADA compliance slash yeah. uh, section 504. One of the things I asked the uh, the front desk upstairs, uh, Josie, yeah. was if they had, if you guys have the uh, poster somewhere in the building on a bill of poles and board that states the section 504 coordinator and the complaint process. Okay. And so she actually checked the two bulletin and boards upstairs. She uh, didn't find it. She said there was one down here. Like, I guess off the right. And yeah, there's one right over there. She was in the process of reading that to me when uh, Wanda Edwards came out and, and told her to stop, told, you know, basically told me I need to leave and then called for security to come over here to, to try to get me to leave. And I explained to them that this is part of an ongoing investigation in Guilford County and the compliance of the ADA in Section 504. And as a whistleblower slash relator or co-relator, lying to me is the same as lying to a federal investigator. And they, he, wanted to, he wanted to vet this. And I said, hey, you don't, basically you're telling me to leave, come back, make an appointment, and do an inspection later, which defeats the purpose of an inspection, right? Like, because if, if, <laughs> if they tell the ADA coordinator... Was it posted up there? There was, there was not posted up there. And okay. the question is, she, she only read part of this whole bulletin board. I'm just I'm simply asking for somebody with eyeballs that can read to read this bulletin board and verify for me whether or not it's posted or, or if it's not posted. And that's it. And that's just another bulletin board somewhere. I'm not sure where every bulletin board is at this location. Yeah, she said there was two that uh, we checked upstairs and they, okay. were, they weren't there. Yeah. And she said the third one was down here. And uh, Margaret uh, checked as well. She said they have, they have it in a policy book somewhere, but as far as she knows, it's not posted. And that's why we just wanted to verify the last bulletin board, if somebody wants to look at it real quick. And if it says, you know, Section 504 coordinator uh, and complaint process, then, then you guys are good. Hey, you too. Okay, man. All right. Yeah, she said she was reading a part of uh, a part I mean, of it as far as like employee rights and employee rights. Like, you can't discriminate to hire employees. employees. One, right. All all on one state and federal mm -hmm. labor law, an e verify poster. Yeah. Know your rights under the Recovery Act, employee mm -hmm. rights, application stuff. Follow, we follow the law. Regarding policy. And then an OSHA form three hundred A. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't see it on this bulletin board now. Okay. All right. Well, that. Uh, but I'm more than happy. Here's my business card. Right. Take it. And your name again? Jaspers. I'm the executive director of school safety. All right. Cool. Mike unearthed ADA noncompliance within the county health department. All righty. Again, county building, can't have cell phones inside the building. Um, Who are you? Lieutenant Bowen again. Okay. Just left you up there. The oh, all right. Um, public health provides confidential medical and other services, and uh, the medical privacy interest of uh, the customers trumps your need for your uh, to film. If you do have uh, getting services offered, if you have business here, uh, we can accommodate you, Okay. but you must turn off your video device. So how are you going to accommodate? Uh, if you need to bring, if you need to bring your cell phone to communicate or navigate, we can accommodate you with that. You just can't record while you're okay. in here. What about my notes? How are you going to accommodate when me for my notes? Where you're talking with, like the same as up there, I told you before, when you get back there with someone, you can record with them as long as they're fine with it. Okay. What about my notes for navigating from point A to point B? We will get you where you need to go. Okay, I don't. I don't uh, we I don't, can offer you a wheelchair so you can save no, the building. I don't need a wheelchair. Okay. And uh, 
Is there an ADA coordinator here for the building? Is there an ADA coordinator? Disability no. coordinator? No. no. Oh, hi. But hi. Cool. What's your name? My name is Leslie. Leslie. All right. And you work here? Mm -hmm. What's your position here? I'm in Vital Records. Vital Records. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Mike even emailed the Guilford County Attorney's Office on January 15th, 2020, informing them he was conducting an ADA compliance investigation. After uncovering numerous ADA violations by Guilford County, Mike and many viewers filed ADA complaints. The NCAOC, North Carolina Administrative Office of the Courts, assigned personnel as disability access coordinators. Their job is to facilitate equal access to the courts and court services to all people, regardless of disability. We had many emails and phone calls with the DACs trying to get them to facilitate equal access to the courts. When there was positive communication and indications that the facilities were taking corrective measures, Mike would revisit a facility to check on compliance. Uh, is this the right place for doing like um, the food stamp process, or what about housing? Do you guys do anything with the housing assistance? Do you know who does that? Uh, actually, probably the housing authority. Uh, do you know if they're like in City Hall? Mm -hmm. Are they in like City Hall? Actually, no. They're right around the corner uh, from us on Russell Street. It's on the corner of Russell and Park. Russell and Park. Okay. Five hundred East Russell. Okay, for the housing. Uh -huh. For I but for. Authority. Getting quite, like people help me understand the the food stamp process. After, that's here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So you want to apply for the food stamps? I just want to know what like the process is like. What um what you know what, what people What's your name? need to. Uh, you can put in initials uh, B and J. Now serving AJ. Please proceed to window five. Window five. I know where window five is. Window five. Is it to you? Over here? Is this? Okay. This is window five. Are you recording right now? Is it B BJ? This is this window five. Or is window five a different one? No, this is window five. Can oh, you okay. have a seat for one moment? And someone right here? Call you? Oh. Mm -hmm. No, not right here. I'll come and direct you to the seat. Oh, so I thought they just called BJ to the window five. Right, but it was a mistake. So that's why I'm gonna ha you're going to have a seat and someone else is going to call your name. Oh, okay. I just had questions on... Got it, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Have a good day. Great, thanks. This ultimately led to a total of three visits to the Guilford County Health Department in High Point, North Carolina. Uh, is there an ADA coordinator here for the building? Is there an ADA coordinator? Disability no. coordinator? No. Oh, hi. But hi. Yeah, where do I go for that? Uh, you got your choice.
There you go. Right here? All right. Yep. So I go out and turn left? If you're going down the steps, yes. Okay. If you're going to stay on the sidewalk, you got to go to. Oh, uh, I can get there either way then. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. The seemingly positive progress was flushed down the toilet when people violently attacked Mike on February 4th, 2020. What are you doing? What the? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Who, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I don't know who you are. Stay tuned to get the details of the story in this Guilford County, North Carolina series. As of the recording of this video, Mike is still facing criminal charges that are being used to cover up for the criminal actions of the state and county employees.